Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. In this video, we're going to discuss the upgrade process for your Security Onion installation. As we mentioned earlier in the course, new versions of Security Onion are generally released every month or two. It's best to stay up to date because these new versions often come with new tools and features, as well as updates to the underlying components in the platform, like Elastic or Salt. Please note that this video is specifically about upgrading the Security Onion platform itself, not the underlying operating system. If you did a standard install from our ISO, and if your Security Onion installation has access to the internet, the underlying Oracle Linux operating system will check for and apply updates every eight hours by default. If you'd like to adjust this schedule, you can do so through the configuration interface in the Security Onion console under Patch and then OS. If you've installed Security Onion as a network install atop another Linux distribution, check that distribution's documentation for information on how to apply OS patches. Another thing that I'd like to mention before we get started is the difference between a standard and an air gap installation of Security Onion. As we covered during the installation video, Security Onion has full support for being installed in an air gapped environment with no access to the internet. In fact, this is a common requirement in some high security deployments. With that being the case, the upgrade process can be carried out by copying the ISO of the new version to the box to be updated, and we'll demonstrate that shortly. You may be wondering at this point, how do I even know when there's a Security Onion update? The best way to check this is to go to our blog, blog.securityonion.net, which is accessible through this link on your Security Onion console overview page. Whenever there's a new release of Security Onion, we post about it here on our blog. We'll also post these announcements on our Twitter and Mastodon accounts, our GitHub discussion forum, and on LinkedIn, which as you can see are all linked here at the top of the blog site. Announcements also include a link to the release notes for the new version. This is a list of all the new features and bug fixes that are included in this release. If any underlying components of Security Onion are updated, this will also be listed here. The numbers next to each of these items are links to issues in our public GitHub, so you can get more details on individual items that interest you. You'll notice there's also a Known Issues section at the top of the release notes for any problems in the platform that the developers know about and which you might run into in your own environment. The program that's used to upgrade your Security Onion installation is called SOUP, the Security Onion Updater. As you can see, we have a page in our documentation all about it. Please note this warning at the top. If you're upgrading a production deployment, we recommend testing the upgrade on a test deployment first. The reason is that if you've done any customization of the platform, there may be unexpected side effects in the new version that you'll want to be prepared for when you upgrade your production grid. Soup is one of the few things that is still run from the command line in Security Onion, so let's go to the local console for this eval VM and walk through the process. First, let's log in with the username and password that we established during installation. Now that we're logged in, let's check the status of the platform to make sure everything is working properly. We don't want to kick off an upgrade while components are already failing. It won't help, and it may well cause even more problems if the upgrade doesn't complete properly. Okay, looks like everything is green. If any of these components were in a failed or missing state, we'd want to fix that first before proceeding with the upgrade. Just to confirm where we are right now, we can check the version with cat etsyso version. And since everything is good, we can run soup with super user privileges by executing sudo soup. We'll probably need to run soup twice. The reason for that is that the first run will pull down the new version of the soup script, and then the second execution will run that new script and pull down the new Docker images and salt files for the upgrade. Okay, as you can see, the soup script has been modified. Please run soup again to continue the upgrade. Okay, the upgrade is in process. This is going to take a little while, so I'll pause the recording while it downloads all the updates. And we're back. As you can see, the upgrade completed and the script tells us that soup has been served. If we check the version, we'll see that it's been updated to indicate the new version of Security Onion that's running on this host. And if we check the components, we can verify that everything is green. As 
and that's all there is to it on a standard install. Just running sudo soup a couple of times will update the Docker images, salt files, and update any custom configurations you've got in place to match the new version. On a distributed installation, you only need to run soup on the manager node. The minions will update themselves and restart services as they check in over time. Now, what if this is an air gap installation? I've got another evaluation install here that is set up as an air gap, so it needs to be updated from a local copy of the ISO. Let's see what that looks like. So I'll log into this air gap eval with my username and password. If I use salt to check my global configuration, you'll see that it's set to air gap true, meaning that I can't use the internet to upgrade to the new version of Security Onion. So instead, I've copied the ISO of the new version to my home directory here on this VM. Now I can run soup and it will prompt me for the location of this ISO file. Enter the path, it's at home, analyst, security onion 2.4.80 slash ISO. So it's completed the update of the soup script, just like in our standard deployment. So now let's run soup again. Now you'll see here that because this is an air gap install, there are also some operating system updates that need to be installed because this hasn't been able to reach out to the repository on the internet to do that. Fortunately, those packages are also included on the ISO. So we can just hit U here and they'll be applied along with the updates to the Security Onion platform itself. So now it's going to install those OS updates as well as the Security Onion updates. This will take a while, so I'm going to pause the recording while it's updating and come back while the progress is complete. Okay, and we're done. As you can see, it says that soup has been served. And if we cat that SO version file, we'll see that this air gap install is now running 2.4.80. And running SO status shows that all of those new containers are up and running. So that's how you update Security Onion for both normal and air gapped systems. I hope this was helpful for you and you now know how to keep your deployment up to date. In the next video, we're going to talk about the first of the three workflows in this training course, Alert Triage and Case Creation. I'll see you there.